What's going on team? In today's video, we're gonna go over how to create digital products even if you're brand new and have never created one. And for today's video, we are actually gonna use, I don't know, barbershop. So I don't know why I had that idea before I started hit record, like that was one of the ideas that I've had before. And we're gonna basically create a PDF or a digital product, an ebook, and I'm gonna show you how to create it from scratch even if you have never created one. And we're, I'm gonna show you how to make it into a PDF, and if you wanna sell it, you can go ahead and sell it. So if you're a barber and you are thinking about creating digital products, then stick around, because this video is for you. Or if you're not a barber, if you're someone who wants to create digital products, I'm just gonna use Barber as an example, and let's go. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into ChatGPT. Now, if you have never used ChatGPT, I want you to think of ChatGPT as kind of like your assistant throughout the whole process of creating a digital product, and Think of it as, like I said, your assistant, your buddy, they're just there. You're just asking them questions and then, you know, brainstorming ideas and they're just going to help you out. Let's say you have really cool ideas or you have something that you've been thinking about, drop it into ChatGPT and just see what kind of things they come up with. All right. So I'm going to ask it a real quick prompt and we'll see what it says. So let's go here. Help me create a digital product. Here's your product. I'm a barber. Let's see what it says. All right, so creating a digital product as a barber can be a great way to leverage your skills and reach a wider, wider audience. Here are a few ideas for digital products you could create. So one, you could create an online course or tutorial, create a comprehensive online course or a series of tutorials that teach people how to cut hair, style, style it, and maintain different hairstyles. So it gives you a whole bunch of things you could do. Now, this is the one that we're gonna go for because we want to create an ebook or a guide. Now, write an ebook or a detailed guide on barbering techniques, tips for maintaining healthy hair, or even how to, how to start a successful barbering business. Topics could include step-by-step -step haircutting guides, best practices for barbers, shop for barbershop hygiene, tools and equipment recommendation, business strategies for barbers. Now, I'm not gonna keep going down every single idea that I just gave because like I said in the beginning of the video we're gonna create a digital product and I just want to create something quick just to show you how easy and simple it is even if you're just getting started so we're gonna go ahead and click the ebook or guide so we're gonna ask you pretty much help me create an ebook for brand new barbers All right, so it just gave me this whole step-by-step -step guide for creating your ebook. So basically the first one is define your audience and purpose and then audience brand new barbers, including those considering barbers as a, barbering as a career. Purpose to provide a comprehensive guide and become a successful barber, covering skills, tools, techniques, and business insights. And then it says outline your content. So it basically gives you an intro at chapter one, two, three, um, chapter four. So it gives you all the details right here. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go and change a lot on this. I'm simply gonna go ahead and copy a lot of the information that it gives me, and then I'm gonna translate it into the ebook. Obviously, if you were creating a brand new from scratch ebook, you could use ChatGPT to help you and get some more ideas and expand on the ideas that you already have. And I'm assuming if you are creating an ebook on how to be a barber, you are already a barber, so you kind of have some information, and then you are gonna tailor it to what better you think is best fit for a brand new barber. So let me see what else I can do over here. And I think that one of the things that I'm gonna do is um, expand on each chapter. All right, so now it's just expanding on every single chapter because the first, the first things that it gave me, they were a little bit broad and it wasn't like giving me too much skills. It wasn't giving me too much like details. Uh, and I, I kind of write, I want an ebook, right? I want some information that I can actually read and take some input out of it. So let me see what else it gives me. All right, so this is a little bit better. So chapter one, getting started, choosing a barbering as, choosing barbering as a career, discuss the reasons to choose barbering, include job satisfaction, creativity, and financial potential. And then it's just breaking down a little bit better what it gave me the first time, right? So chapter two, essential tools and equipment. So let's keep going down. All right, all right. 
the 10 growth and wellness. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. And like I said, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go too much into details, but basically I'm just gonna take all this information that he gave me. And as you can see, like if you click, if you click expand, it'll give you more information and it'll go deeper into details. It'll, it'll go further down into details and give you more info on, you know, whatever you ask it, right? So like I said before, if you are a barber, I'm assuming you know a lot more about barbering. This is just an example. Um, so I'm assuming you're gonna go in and change it and edit a little bit of your way and the things that you wanna do, right? For, to create your own digital product, All right? So now that we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Canva, which is where, which is where we are gonna go ahead and create our Archer digital book. All right, so let me hop into Canva real quick. All right, so now we're gonna go to Canva. All right, so once you are inside of Canva, it's gonna be very simple. One of the things that you're gonna do is you can either just type PDF or you can just click, you can search ebook ideas, and then it's gonna give you a whole bunch of different ebooks that you can use. All right, so let me see. Let's use, see what we have. Let's just use this one. All right, so let's just use this one for, like I said, for the sake of the video. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and customize this template. And I believe you can do this with the free version of Canva as well. If you cannot, let me know in the comments below, but they do give you free templates where you can use. So let's just go ahead and use this one. So we're gonna use template. And then this is the beginning of the book. So what we're gonna do here is transforming. I'm, I'm, all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take all the information that I got from ChatGPT and basically just copy and paste it. And once again, if you are a barber, then you should know the things that you should be changing. I'm just gonna use this to show you how simple it is and how easy it is to create your ebook even if you're brand new and you have no idea. But again, if you are, if you are creating an ebook, you should know what you're talking about. Don't rely just on ChatGPT because as I've said, they're just like, they're just like your buddy, a little brainstorming, but they don't know 100%. And even on them, even on like ChatGPT, like they do give you the disclaimer, like, hey, things could be wrong with the stuff that they give you. So make sure that you always double check that the information is valid. All right, so we're gonna call it just that, the ultimate guide for brand new barbers. We're gonna go here, copy, and then we're gonna delete that, paste that, and we're gonna change it. Let's move it around here. You know, it would be nice if it had hair, hair logo. Let's see if we can change something here. Hair salon. No, 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 no. Let's see, come on. Show me something. Oh, hair clippers, hair clippers. Oh, I like this one. All right, so actually I like this one better. So let me see if he, no, let's just keep this one for the sake of time. So I'll delete that. I don't like this one, so let's go ahead and, what if I did this? I don't know how I feel about that. Let's just take that away. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can play around with when in Canva. Now, again, I'm just gonna keep it very simple, but let's just say you, this could be, this could be, I don't know, whatever your name is, um, your name. And then guide for new barbers. All right, so you can keep that if you like and delete that. So this will be the cover for your ebook. This will be the first thing that people see obviously when they download the ebook from your, your website, wherever you choose from. And then we're gonna go into from page two, actually. Let's just take that out. Just delete the whole thing. So here we're gonna go into, let's say introduction, a little intro action. I'll go ahead and paste it here. And make that a little bit smaller. 
um, little space in between, make it a little bit easier on the eyes. And again, you can customize this as much as you want, as like you can add all, all whatever you want to add. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to create it fast so I don't bore you guys. And again, I'm, I'm not the most practical into adding and making things super cute. I just usually just go ahead and whatever I feel like, or I, I'll take a template, just delete a couple of things, add a few things. But again, you know how much stuff you can add in Canva. You can watch a video on that. But I'm just gonna go really quick to show you guys how easy this is. So basically this will be the introduction and then we're gonna add another page. One thing that I do like is it is keeping the same background on both. So the same color styles is staying there for, you know, throughout every time you add a page. So, I mean, you could add, if you wanted to add this, like on the sides, like, I guess you could make it like, add one there. I think we'll just delete that. Just copy this one. Let's add it here. And one more. You could do that if you wanted to. I don't know. Spice it up a little bit. Change it. There we go. That looks a lot better. And then this one. We're going to go into chapter one. Getting started. So... I'm gonna move it a little bit there and copy this and make it a little bit smaller there. A little bit smaller so we can fit everything here. All right, so chapter one, and then we're gonna go to chapter two add page <laughs> all right I'm gonna move this up a little bit there and then here kind of space it out a bit all right, so there you go, chapter two, smaller, a little bit smaller, and there you go. And you you guys get the point, right? Like if I keep adding, then you guys know how it's gonna look. And this is the really easy, cool part that uh, Canva makes it so simple for you guys to create your own digital products. Like, all right, so we already have the intro, boom, all the information, and then we're gonna click share. We're gonna download, and then you're just gonna download that puppy one more time. All right, so now here, you have all the pages. You have the first page. This is your intro, guide for new barbers, the ultimate guide for brand new barbers. And then you have the second one, introduction, welcome message, introduction, introduce yourself, share your experience and passions for barbering. And then like, this is the cool thing and how easy it is to create your digital product. Like I just showed you real quick, I believe in less than 20 minutes, how to create your digital product with ChatGPT and Canva. And obviously, like if you're brand new, like if you're brand new to this, then you should spend some time figuring out exactly what is the product you're trying to create, what is the product that you're trying to promote. But it is very simple, very easy to create a digital product. Um, I, I'm still working around and trying to create more products. I will be creating more videos like this. And this one is just the first of many. And I, I want to get better, right? Like I want to start creating more, more videos around this because as you guys have seen in my previous videos, I got into digital marketing and yes, I do my marketing on the side for companies, but I also want to create more products and I want to be, I want I guess I want to be a little bit faster when creating this, this type of videos and, and this type of products. So that's why I want to create more videos, but all right. I hope you guys like the content. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did give me a thumbs up and let me know how you liked it.